Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of this project. I don't think it's the last one. However, let's start with a good cup of espresso. This time it's Segafredo Zanetti. Okay, so I did some more cleaning towards the outside of those headlamps. I gave them a, a quick buff with, with some polishing compound. This uh, polycarbonate lens, it has seen some, some rocks it has some some minor damage uh, that the polishing compound of course didn't take away but what I think of doing is in the future I'll just you know vinyl wrap these and I think this this should um, you know uh, smooth out the rough spots uh, of course I could you know take some time to use sandpaper of course uh, smooth it out and then coat it with with some clear coat but yeah, vinyl wrapping is pretty easy. I already did some some of that for my father's uh, car's headlights, and the, the effect is pretty good. So I think it's 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 a good way of you know refurbishing the the, the outside of the headlights. Now, um, when I'm doing the my original projectors from this uh, element that holds that is actually integrates this. And the turn signal reflector, the high beam reflector, and the and and actually holds the projector. This element is made out of some brittle composite material, let's say. And when I'm doing the screws, the remains of it mm, fly around this headlight inside. So uh, what I decided to do is to give it a rinse from the inside using demineralized water and some dish soap, and then I'll assemble it. And by the way, this GD, if anyone is, uh, you know, curious, means in Italian guida a destra, which means the steering is on the right. So this uh, this headlight is actually uh, from a from a right-hand drive car. Okay, so the headlamps have been cleaned out. Now I'm going to install the Hella projector to the right one. I'll be putting uh, this headlight on the left side and comparing it to the uh, right headlight that is currently installed on the car. So uh, this one, after some uh, wiping with uh, with alcohol, uh, after uh, after wiping is going to be here on, in the right headlight, and this one. H7 original is going to this left headlamp just for a comparison. I don't have a, a light meter um, or anything like it, so it's just going to be purely visual inspection. So let's get to it. Okay, so this one's done.
go. This one is also ready to be used. Meantime, I'm going to tell you about the connector that is used to operate the high beam solenoid here. That enables you to use high beams with, with this projector, not only with the high beam, with the sock high beam that is on a separate separate reflector, separate bulb. If you're uh, reworking your original H7 headlamps, uh, then all you have to do is just provide this connection to your high beam bulb and then it operates alongside with the with the bulb and then uh, you get dual high beam. Uh, if you have a, a xenon version of the headlamp and you're just swapping out the projectors for, for some better ones. So uh, the original one uses this MQS connector. Uh, 3-pin one. Only two connections are occupied. Uh, these two connectors are from the same family. It's called MQS. The good news is that you can easily swap out the wires without the need to cut any wires, crimp anything and so on. Here is the uh, the connector that came with the new projector, the 2-pin one. When we don't want to use these cables then we just need to open this one. Uh, to do it, we need to uh, pop this uh, tab out. Okay, it popped out. Now we need to push this tab in, in this uh, in this crimp, to allow it to slide out of the housing. So uh, what I'm going to do is to push a needle inside those uh, flat channels. So I'm going to push this one in. Okay, I am. So, so that's the pin out of the out of the connector housing. So this one, the three-pin one, is actually uh, much easier to disassemble because it just slides open like so. And then here we have a pretty good access to those tabs, which we just push in. And just push on the tab. Now the pin goes out of the housing. And then all you have to do is just slide it in, it clicks and click the housing to, to lock it and then you have your factory pin inside the, this connection. All of that you can reverse, you can reinstall the uh, when you want to go back to the original for whatever reason you can, you can do it and then you're good to go. A good thing to mention about this solenoid, it has a built-in TVS diode here. This solenoid, when you just remove the voltage from here, it's creating a lot of spikes of high voltage that are going back to the, to the system. So what this diode does is that it clamps all the voltage above some certain level. Normally it's not passing any current, but if the voltage rises above some certain level that is harmful to the electronics of the vehicle and then this uh, diode automatically uh, conducts electricity in both directions to to clamp this high voltage that is coming from this relieving uh, solenoid especially when you're you know blink pretty quickly then there are a lot of those spikes so uh, you don't have to worry about that, any harm to your electronics Okay, so about the cleaning of the headlamp, uh, what I did was I used around half a quart of this demineralized water. I just poured it in to, to those holes after, of course, removing the, the bulbs and without this projector. Then I put a few drops of dish soap and I gave it a good shake to, you know, move all the, the dirt and, and all the debris from, from the inside. Then I poured it out and just to flush the, the whole headlamp from, from this detergent. Uh, then I used, I think it was around two and a half quarts of, of 
demineralized water. So it was previously it was half a liter around, then 2.5 liters, just to, to rinse all this all the remains of that dish soap, uh, and then I just uh, installed the bulbs back and I ran it for a for a short while just to you know increase the temperature inside and um, uh, to to dry the headlamp from the inside. So. Uh, so just for completeness, this is the new uh, projector uh, with the holes that are drilled out. So here you can see the the one in the let's say yeah the third one from the bottom uh, is is a bit larger. Of course, the two bottom ones are are enlarged too. Now I'm going to uh, mount this one to the to the headlamp as well. Okay, the thing that I did here with, with my hands is to manually start the screw because the access with, to the screw head is very limited with a screwdriver. It's at a, you know, it's not straight from the top, but it's at an angle. It's easy to, to screw it in almost uh, all the way and then you just need to tighten it just a bit to make it snug and then it's, it's okay. Okay, so that would be the outcome of this first stage of the project. The xenon equipment is already on the way. I ordered some ballasts, some cables. So that's that's one thing. Mm, honestly, uh, after looking at, at that garage footage, I'm not too impressed <laughs> by that because the ones that are currently on my vehicle are seem to be way better than, than these. Maybe it's because the this glass is in a, in a far worse shape than on my car. Maybe another thing is just the projector quality, which may vary seller by seller. I bought the cheapest ones that I that were available. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, that would be it for now. Cheers.